ready to embark on a journey filled with hidden gems as we uncover 10 secrets you might have missed in the heartwarming animation Leo. We'll start off with one of the most frequently asked questions. Yes, but not in Florida. <laughs> yep, having a baby. Okay. Let's see how much you guys already know. Can two Terras live past 75 years? While doing some research for the newly released Adam Sandler animated film, I realized a lot of people were curious whether two Terras can live past 75 years. This is how the film starts, after all, with this question. So here's your answer. Two Terras can indeed live past 75 years in captivity, but in the wild, they have an average lifespan of 60. I don't know about you, but I've been watching Netflix more in the last couple of months. I mean, I'm still angry at them for canceling some of my favorite TV shows, but let's be honest, they are doing great with animated films lately. I loved, loved Nimona, and now we have a brand new animated adventure to watch. A lot of people were surprised to see that Leo became one of the most successful Netflix movies of the year. Although I loved the film, I would have enjoyed it more if there were fewer songs in it. I know this is a musical, but it felt like some of the songs were, well, kind of forced. What do you guys think? Interestingly enough, the creators revealed they have actually fought with Netflix trying to save a couple of scenes in the movie. Netflix thought some of the scenes were not necessary. The streaming giant was basically trying to convince the creators to delete some sequences. So, Leo features Sandler as a lizard planning his escape from a Florida school. He's been in the school for his entire life, and so his quest to find freedom begins. While looking for freedom, Leo teaches the kids various important lessons about growing up. Leo is a heartwarming adventure. It's also something we never knew we needed so much. But did you guys know that Adam Sandler's daughter Sadie and Sunny have roles in the film? Yes, that's right. Sandler's daughter Sadie Sandler voices Jada in the animated film. She also voiced young Mavis in the three Hotel Transylvania films. His other daughter, Sunny Sandler, has a role in Leo too. She is the voice behind the character named Summer. And just like every other other animated film in history, Leo is packed with Easter eggs and various pop culture references. Do I look old? <laughs> Thank you. Did you notice the bobblehead figures in Summer's bedroom? Apparently, there's a shelf in Summer's bedroom on which you can see bobblehead figures of what looks like Conan O'Brien and Chubbs from Happy Gilmore. Summer is a talkative fifth grader who's the first to find out about Leo's talking abilities. When Summer brings Leo home for a weekend, he teaches her an important lesson about connecting with her peers. He tells her to ask other kids what they think and how they feel. If you watch the movie with full attention, you'll also notice Darth Vader is in it. There it is, a poster with Darth Vader can be seen inside Cole's bedroom. Before we uncover the next Leo secret, take a moment to hit that subscribe button and join our team. Keep the conversation going by sharing the secrets you found in this animated adventure. Okay guys, are you excited? Most of you have been going to this school for five years, some of you seven, and now you're the big kids. Did I mention that Leo broke a record on Netflix? Yep, that's how successful and popular Leo is, and it all just happened a few days following the release of the movie. This is a big surprise for Netflix, considering this is an Adam Sandler film. Don't get me wrong, I love Sandler and his comedy films, but his latest movies were not so well received by some critics. On the other side, audience audiences seem to love his projects. Most of Sandler's movies are not Oscar-worthy, to say the least. But the heartwarming nature, the straightforward storylines, and the feeling you get while watching his films are sometimes better than scratching your head over what the movie's about and Googling ending explained afterwards. According to a Netflix report, Leo clocked in at 61 million hours viewed for the week ending November 26, 2023. In its first six days on Netflix, this film pulled up 61.7 million viewing hours, the biggest debut for a Netflix animated film, surpassing the Sea Beast with 33.5 million viewing hours. That's chameleons. I'm not a chameleon. Oh, well, then you're a dead man. 
Now, let's get into some pop culture references, shall we? Squirtle is the classroom turtle. He's a bit cranky but means well. Squirtle is voiced by the one and only Bill Burr. Leo and Squirtle are both named after 1990s cartoon characters. Leo is named after Leonardo the Turtle from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and Squirtle is named after the character from Pokemon. Leo also hides a Hubie Halloween reference. Do you guys remember the cute little orange helmet that Squirtle puts on near the end of the movie after the drone picks him up. The helmet is the same as the one the Adam Sandler character wears in Hubie Halloween. Jada Burgers, Jada Tater, Jada Vegetables. Please don't do this. Now, let's discuss the controversial scene. As mentioned before, the creators of Leo had to fight with Netflix in order for all Leo scenes to be included in the film. Co-director Robert found himself in a difficult situation when Netflix wanted to delete one particularly controversial sequence from the movie. The scene we're talking about includes stopwatch background dancers and a musical number. Both Netflix and the storyboard artists were not really fond of the musical number. Robert wanted to keep this scene because it was unique. He was so persistent in keeping the scene that the whole thing needed to be addressed by Netflix. There were plenty of people involved in the decision and they decided to keep the scene but cut some parts of it. I'll be honest with you, I don't really see what the problem with Leo dancing is and I don't get why such a scene would be described as controversial. Anyways, here's a fun fact. First one? Usually it's in the front but very nice, you're growing up. No, 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 it's my dad. Adam Sandler's wife is also in Leo. Adam Sandler's wife, Jackie, is the voice behind Jada's mom. If you stop the film at 1.40, you'll see Cole's mom and you'll realize the creators based the character design on Jackie. As mentioned before, Sandler is a loving father of two daughters. He and his wife, Jackie Sandler, have been married since 2003. Interestingly enough, the two met on the set of a film. More precisely, they met on the set of Big Daddy. Four years later, they tied the knot and they've been living happily ever after since. Adam called his daughters two of the true best things in his life when he accepted the 2023 Mark Twain Prize. Leo is not the only film Adam and his family star in. They all acted in You Are Not So Invited to My Bat Mitzvah, which was released on August 25th. Last but not least. Thanks, PJ. Uh, TJ. Oh, I'm sorry. It's cool. Jack's about the eye contact. Leo made us all realize that Sandler should try different roles. I mean, he doesn't have to play the rom-com boyfriend all the time, right? Leo is shaping Sandler's career now in a different way, and the actor's future looks bright since Leo marks a time when critics are loving an Adam Sandler movie. The critically acclaimed film has an 82% score in Rotten Tomatoes, which proves Sandler's films for Netflix are getting better. The trend started with The Hustle, the Marowitz stories, continued with You Are Not So Invited to my bat mitzvah, and of course, the huge hit Leo. Sandler's next movie for Netflix is the science fiction drama Spaceman. Do you guys think Sandler should play more diverse roles? Maybe he needs to try something different, just like he did with Leo. There's a reason why movies where he plays the rom-com boyfriend are not so successful anymore. Every one of those movies feels the same. Oh, I also want to know your opinion on a Leo sequel. Do you think Netflix should work on a follow-up? Honestly, I can see the potential for continuation, but on the other side, we also need more original projects to enjoy. As we say goodbye to the secrets of Leo, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share if you enjoyed our journey through the hidden gems. Until our next adventure, keep exploring the animated wonders. See ya. See that being a problem. Wow, look at this. We're going with Malkin. Change of scenery. Should be good. Congratulations.